Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna talk about the documents that we filed with the I-129F. Like, how did we get the old documents, and what documents did we prepare? Stuff like that. And first of all, please follow the rules of USCIS and check the latest information every time. There's so many informations on the internet now, but keep on the original USCIS informations, then you'll be fine. So please take my case as one of the example for filing I-129F. So this is our I-129F document and this much thickness. Sorry, it doesn't focus like this. And total 46 pages. And we just use the easy clips like this to hold our documents. Anyway, let's take a look at my documents together. Number one, cover letter. We looked for the perfect cover letter template online, but we couldn't find it. So my fiance just made it for us. So we attached nine things with this cover letter. So total 10 documents we have. Number two, application fee. We filed our application fee with his check. There is a description how to fill this check correctly on the USCIS website. So please check it out. Number three, passport style photographs of petitioner and beneficiary. We filed our documents like this picture. So we attached our photographs like this with the plastic bag and hold with the clips. Number four, form G1145. We filed this form with I-129F and we got an NOA-1 by a text message. Number five, I-129F. This is the most important document and you should fill this form as honestly and correctly as you can. I made a video about this form I-129F so, if you have a time, please check it out too. As additional information of I-129F, we attached a criminal history record document. If you have any case, you should get the final disposition document from the courthouse. Number 6. A copy of petitioner's birth certificate. We attached this document as evidence of petitioner's US citizenship. Number 7. Copy of the Beneficiaries Form I-94 This is not the necessary documents, but we just attach this as a support document. You can download this form from I-94 website. Number 8. Evidence of Intention to Marry We attached two evidences. One is the letters and one is the copy of engagement ring receipt and affiliation. Here is the letter of intent to marry. We wrote letter separately. This is my fiance's letter and this is my letter. I described our relationship on my letter a lot. And here is the copy of engagement ring affiliation and receipt. Number 9. Evidence of in-person meeting within the past two years. I made this evidence with our pictures, flight tickets, and car insurance. I chose those pictures from different timeline and locations. And also I chose the pictures that was taken with my family or his family, or even our friends because which is going to be really good proof of our relationship and flight tickets like visiting him in the US and traveling to Australia and having a domestic flight in Australia together we had a car insurance for our car when we were in Australia and our both names were on the certificate so I used this as the evidence Number 10. Evidence of ongoing relationship. This is not necessary document, but I made this as an extra evidence of our relationship. 
We've been on the long distance relationship a lot, so I wanted to show how we maintained our relationship. So here is the two pages of video call screenshots and six pages of our chat history on the Messenger. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, please leave your comment. And I really hope everything is going well for you. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in the next video soon.